two-factor authentication we now support in our starter kits. Let me show you. You asked about it a lot and now we finally have it in our starter kits, two-factor authentication for our React, View and Livewire starter kit. So if you check the docs, you can see that we have here a new section about two-factor authentication telling you all about it. And yeah, basically it's powered by Laravel 45, which we're using under the hood for the starter kits. I also have made a video about creating your own authentication system with Laravel 45, so you can check this out as well. But yeah, today we're going to check out how you can enable two-factor authentication for your Laravel starter kit application. And we're going to start by creating a new Laravel application. Let's call this Laravel two-factor authentication. And I'm going with LiveWire here. We're going to use built-in authentication using Vault and Pest here. Let's also install our dependencies. And then let's open it up. And here we are, this is the welcome page. Let's register a new user. And let's create this one, here we go. So now you have to go to your settings and there you have two-factor authentication. Currently, I need to provide my password in order to access this page. And here we are. Currently, you see it's disabled and now we're just going to enable it. And like with any other application, if you use two-factor authentication, you get this QR code and you need to scan it with your Authenticator app. I'm going to use the Google Authenticator app on my phone. And I just scanned it, I can continue, and I now have a new code which I can use. I get this from my Authenticator app on my phone. And here we are, now it's enabled, perfect. So this means now if I'm trying to log out here and log in again, so you will be prompted with this authentication code that you need to provide. So I'm going to go to my Authenticator app, I've copied the code again, which I just received there and this is what is now needed in order to log in and this is two-factor authentication. You need your password but you also need your phone and now your account is way more secure than before. Perfect and that's basically it. That's easy how it is to now enable two-factor authentication for all the starter kits that we have. And there's just one more thing that I would like to show you in this application which we just created. So if we're going to config and then fortify, and here inside is fortify config, let's go down here to the bottom, here are the features which are enabled for this application and you can see that we have enabled two-factor authentication and you can also define if you need to confirm when you want to enable two-factor authentication and if you need a password in order to get to the two-factor authentication settings. So these are two things that you can define here. But yeah, that's basically it. And that's how easy it is now to set up two-factor authentication in your Laravel starter kits. Make sure to use two-factor authentication in your next project and have fun building with our starter kits. Bye.